The idea that pregnant women should just lift light or not lift at all is Hey guys, one of the questions I get a lot is from women who ask, hey, if I'm pregnant, should I change the way I lift? Can I lift at all? Should I stop lifting? And for years, the advice at first from doctors is, yeah, don't lift at all. You know, you need to rest. Uh, maybe just do some walking. And thankfully, over time, that has evolved into, uh, you can lift, but it's still like do light weights. Don't brace your core. Don't do things like the Volsalva maneuver. Just briefly, the Volsalva maneuver is something you do to increase intra-abdominal pressure if you have ever watched me lift on some of my uh, weekly training updates, you'll notice that like when I squat, deadlift, or bench press, before I start a rep, I will and I will hold my breath. So not only am I holding my breath, I'm pressing my tongue against the roof of my mouth and that enables you to create more intra-abdominal pressure. And that basically increases your stability on a heavy lift. It also stabilizes your spine and enables you to lift a greater amount of weight. The recommendation has been for pregnant women not to do this. Now, a recent study looked at women doing squat, bench press, and deadlift, and looked at them doing 70, 80, or 90% of their 10 rep max. So essentially, they looked at their 10 rep maximum, and they had them do 70, 80, or 90% of that. And they also had them do it with the Valsalva maneuver as well to see if that was actually dangerous. And they looked at different markers of fetal health. They looked at umbilical blood flow metrics, fetal heart rate. And what they found was it didn't really affect fetal health. Even going heavy and doing the Valsalva maneuver didn't have negative effects on the fetus. What does this mean for pregnant women? Should you all go out and start doing heavy squats and deadlifts? That's not necessarily what I'm saying. I'm just saying there really isn't evidence that training heavy and using the Valsalva maneuver is going to negatively affect the fetus. The recommendations to avoid heavy lifting were done because some epidemiological studies noted an increase in birth complications in women who had occupational jobs where they were doing repeated heavy lifting for their job. But it's important to point out there's confounders there. Women who are pregnant doing a repeatedly difficult, physically heavy labor job, they may have other stresses in their life as well, or they may just be more stressed by the fault because of their job and that could contribute to birth complications. And the reality is we actually have research data that looks directly at women who exercise and even do resistance training and they actually have less complications than women who don't. And I think one of the things to point out here is doing a repeatedly heavy thing throughout the course of the day is different than in a gym in a controlled setting where you're doing a controlled dose of it for maybe an hour or two. It is possible if you're not exceeding your overall recovery capacity, that it's not gonna negatively affect your fetus. And in fact, the research seems to suggest that if you're more active, you have a healthier pregnancy on average. Now I wanna point out that you, as an individual, need to make the best decision for you. And there are cases where rest or bed rest is warranted in certain situations. And I recommend that you listen to your OBGYN. Now, unfortunately, some physicians are very behind on research literature and they may tell you not to lift, even if it's not warranted. And I can't tell you that you should if your doctor who specializes in pregnancy is telling you otherwise. All I'm saying is that the research right now simply doesn't support the idea that in healthy pregnant women that you should avoid heavy lifting or avoid bracing your core or use the Valsalva maneuver. And it seems to suggest that if you're more active that you actually may have less risk of complications with birth. So I think this definitely warrants more study, but I will say we sometimes can treat pregnancy like this really fragile thing, and it can be, obviously, but women have given birth throughout the centuries under all manner of stressful situations. And in many cases, or most cases, they weren't necessarily able to be on bed rest. They still were able to give birth. Now, obviously people will say, well, you know, the mortality rate was much higher and, and all that's true, all that's true. But that was usually during giving birth itself where the problems came if a baby was breached or if there was excessive bleeding or those sorts of things. But again, my take home, from this study and the studies on lifting and pregnancy seem to suggest that if anything, on average, lifting has a positive effect on a healthy pregnancy.